All right, so I'm Donna, and next week I'm actually going to be your featured artist, so if you like what you hear tonight, you get 20 minutes of it. I promise not to just read poems for 20 minutes, though. i will make it slightly more interesting than that. Tonight I have three things for you. I've read them all here before because I've got some new stuff, but I'm saving it for next week. So some of you may have heard some of these before. So this first one's called Fraudulent Thought. And we talked a little bit tonight about not being self-deprecating. So this kind of goes out to that. Love you, Marty. <laughs> there is some comfort in the familiar anxiety of my insecurities, those fraudulent thoughts. That bitch, that mean girl voice inside my head. She tells me I can't when I know that I can, that I'll fail before I even try, that no one cares when I really need to know that at least someone does. She salivates at my despair, cackles at my pain, plants seeds of doubt and self-loathing, and does her best to eat up every bit of joy and courage and hope I've gathered up around myself. The dark mistress, the teller of lies, the taker of lies. She's having a blast at the party in my brain, dancing a jig and raising a toast to my to total destruction. But I've got news for her. I may hurt, but I get up, get going, and get over it, because she might be having fun at the party, but bitch, I am the party. <laughs> All right, this next one is actually, it's, I love this poem. I wrote it for someone that I've lost. Um, I had a cousin that took her own life. I've been doing some fundraising for the last several months, and I'm going to be doing a charity walk in San Francisco next month, and it just seemed apropos to read this one more time. Um, she was slightly broken and magnificently beautiful, beautifully so, and she was my challenge, and so this is called The Challenge. She is contrast, she is change, she is confusion and passion and strange, unintentionally irritating, charming and infuriating. She is lovely and she is loved. She makes me laugh and dream and hope and scream. She is optimistic and afraid, intense and uncontained. She is a challenge and she loves it and she hates it and I get her and I don't. She is beauty and she is gone and I miss her. I miss the challenge. <laughs> All right. Thank you for the Thank you. All right. And I'll have one more for you. This is called Superpowers. It's funny how life almost never turns out quite like you thought it would be. I used to daydream about having superpowers, and if the boy I liked liked me, liked me. Well, I didn't grow up to be Wonder Woman, what can I say? Maybe you didn't grow up to be Batman or Superman. It doesn't matter anyway. Because you could still be a hero to me without a cowl or a cape. Because you see, it's a whole lot harder to find a good man than a Superman these days. How about if I make you dinner and we talk about the day and comment on the weather? Or watch a movie on TV and order takeout before we make out? <laughs> talk and laugh and stay up late? What if we started a friendly debate? Marvel versus DC? R2 versus BB? Don't get mad. Don't hate. What if we cuddled up after a long day of work and just tried to decide who was the better captain? Picard or Kirk? Because I can do all of that with a scotch in one hand and a stogie in the other while dressed like a pinup girl. And when I look at you across the table with one eyebrow raised, and you know what I'm thinking? Yeah, I can do all of that too. Because I'm not afraid to get my geek on or my freak on. And I fall in love like I play poker. I don't bluff, and I'm not afraid to go all in. And I really do want to make you dinner. And thanks to my grandma, there really isn't anything quite like my Dutch apple pie. And all you have to do is not lie. But if that's all too much for you, and you decide that I'm not the girl for you, well, that's a bummer. But I'll be okay. Just go. Get out of my way. Because I might have a 1940s aesthetic and 1950s family values, but it's, it's 2016, bitch, and I don't actually need you. But if I choose you, it means I want you, and I aim to keep you. See, I wake up every morning and I think I'm awesome, because I like myself. But I'm still looking for that boy that will like me like me, and maybe be the man that will love me love me, until we're both old and gray, so we can look back on all of our days and realize we didn't need superpowers anyway. Mm -hmm.